Anyways, come back next week where I'll cut off both of Miles' legs and see if he can beat the game while Welp, I'm a man of my word. You might be thinking, hey, isn't Spider-Man and his legs kind of like you and overly convoluted gimmicks? Because they both wouldn't have gone anywhere without him. And... Wow, rude. But you got a point. Walking around is a massive part of Spider-Man, and that's why I broke both of Peter's legs. See, I can inflict pain on someone other than myself. I just happen to enjoy masochistic torture. But anyways, rules. Number one, the left stick is completely off limits, even while in the air. Number two, jumping is also not allowed. Hmm? Why you ask? Because, well, tell your nearest wheelchair-bound friend to do a jumping jack. Exactly. You probably don't have one, so don't talk. Jeez, that was mean. I'm sorry. Anyways, rule three. Peter sections and crawling is sometimes just necessary, so instead of making this video two hours long, just imagine that Peter can unbreak his legs on command. I know that this rule is unrealistic, but Peter is a recently graduated college student that doesn't live on the street, so if you're gonna suspend your disbelief, you might as well go all the way. Right, and the spider powers. Those are unrealistic too, I guess. One thing before getting into it, I will be playing on Ultimate. And also, it may be obvious, but I wasted a lot of time on this, so if you enjoy, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell. I'm waiting. Go break a leg. And for those of you not going to subscribe, I'll help you break a leg. So I finally got plopped into the game, and everything was fine and dandy. For about 5 seconds, yeah, nobody tells you, but breaking your legs makes it kinda hard to move around. You got it, almost there! Yes, if by almost there you mean not close at all because I have to fling my body from pole to pole like a stripper. Well, at least the sticky white stuff makes more sense now. I may lack basically all social skills, but I know when I'm not wanted, so I'll just leave. Right. Broken legs. Okay, well, introductions. Fist, meet face. Yeah, we got to our first fight, and it wasn't that bad. I can kinda move with the triangle button, and enemies just run towards me. I then learned that the human body is a lot less flammable than I expected, don't ask how I tested that, and I got a quick ride on a cop car. Those two things weren't connected. Anyways, we're up against more of Fisk's goons. This guy then remembered that he left his will to live at home today, I know how that feels, and I stepped on his face to show my dog. Dominance. It wasn't a kink thing, I swear. Hey, do you guys know who started the Russian Revolution in 1917? Stalin. No, close, it was Karl Marx. Okay, wow, I've officially hit rock bottom. But that means I can only go up from here. I actually got that from my PA meeting. Yeah, I've got a problem. Puns anonymous. We then got to a couple of sections where you'd expect walking to be necessary, but thankfully all it took was a little bit of platforming and lack of Friday night plans. What? National Rocket Day or something? Well, this game is set in America, right? So after some quick fighting, it was big thumb time. And this was a lot trickier than I expected. This hits fast and hard, and I basically have to constantly stay in kissing range. <laughs> just kidding. Unless- No, 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 no. This was basically just a little bit of pattern memorization, so it wasn't too bad. I haven't even started trying! Nah, you lost the second your parents decided to name you Willy. <laughs> Get it? Because it's, it's like the... What am I doing with my life? So this fight was really annoying, mostly because it's so hard to specifically focus on one enemy. Plus, the wave of fists, all aimed at my cheeks, didn't really help, but regardless, after randomly mashing my controller, I finally got through. I then got to stare deeply into Fisk's eyes. Unless... 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 And that was that! So... Now? No, 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 that, that'd be silly. <laughs> Anyways, the game almost forced me to jump for a tutorial, but luckily, I was able to avoid it entirely. I then got a five minute work day, no wonder the economy's in the gutter, and I had to go through some puzzles. But thanks to my superior intellect, I got through it all. My brain then did that thing where it unremembered how to do, yeah, I forgot what I was doing, and where I was and who i okay i'm i might just have dementia i then had to do more webbing which is somehow more tedious than walking around and i got to this yep the first major roadblock of this game isn't the voluptuous thumb or a sausage fest but rather a cell tower see i need to get over there and it won't allow me to web zip my thumb was over the left joystick when an interesting thought popped into my head i'm incredibly stupid yeah i remembered that punching kind of slowly moves you forward so i was in the clear uh, what is this stuff? good question 
Anyways, I then had to solve a couple of crimes, which was a little hard due to my ability to suck at almost everything. There are a couple of cases where I will jump, but don't worry. As my mom used to say, you can't make the same accident twice. You learn and move on. And that's why I don't have siblings. I then got to meet my biggest enemy of this run, really tall buildings. Now, before you go commenting, asking if everything is okay in the old shriveled up grape, let me explain. See, when you're up this high, there's nowhere to web zip to, so you kind of have to finagle it, which luckily, I was able to do. New suit, same old me. No, it's a new you as well. I'm sorry. He must be in the denial stage of grief. Hey guys, this one is defective. Can you take him back in your elevator? Hmm? How does spine break? No, no, he walked in like that. I then got to some more basic stuff, you know, taking pictures, and then I had some time to kill. Time is the nickname I give to thugs. Anyways, it was then time to meet up with old senile Aunt May. Man, was I ever a dork. Wow, rude, but <laughs> that's fine. Well we all have an awkward face. Okay, now you're just being mean. Now this may be a spoiler, so warning, but behold, Mr. Ne- Oh my- <laughs> My eyes! That actually hurts! So yeah, we had to attend a party, and besides the murderous psychopath, it was all pretty normal. What? No, that that's the wrong footage. I was talking about Peter. Anyways, I then started a conversation and walked away like the Chad I am. And while walking away, I accidentally- walked into a wall. But we're back to Spidey time, and after some quick self-deprecating swinging, I got to this. Yeah, I have to take this guy out, and I'm forced to walk. So add one to the counter. I then got to this, and yeah, I thought it was five seconds ago all over again because I can't web zip and I have a tough time moving left and right, but thankfully, after slightly moving my body somehow with the camera, I was able to get past this wall. I then got to MJ, and I had to physically hold myself back from putting her in a wheelchair. Not for the challenge just for fun. The game then had a seizure, or I'm not a doctor, all I know is I had one while looking at it. Anyways, after wrapping up the sneak section, we got to a chase, which I actually forgot about, so it kinda came as a shock. This chase was a lot harder than I expected. I'm basically stuck zipping from place to place, but luckily, if you dodge right after zipping, you can get enough air to start swinging, and from that point on, it isn't too bad. And by isn't too bad, I mean it still sucks. You basically have no control while swinging, and if you hit a wall, you're kaputz. But thankfully, I eventually figured it out. I then saw a taxi pop out of existence, and that's one way to get out of traffic, but man. So yeah, we had to meet up with Mr. Lee, and I sat scrolling through my phone while somebody probably got mugged in a nearby alley. Are you into something dangerous? No, I'm just beating some meat with some guys that came out really wrong. Anyways, we then got to some research, and I actually heard that you can skip it all by just walking in and then walking out. Walk? Fuck. My brain doing a stupid again out of the way, we got some info that Shocker was making a disturbance at the bank. I'm flying pretty close to flying. Wrong disability, Peter, but yeah, you're right, this is kinda tricky. I don't know how you mixed up being blind with my brain damage, but whatever. So we had to go to a boss fight, and yeah, I died here a lot. Shocker moves in really close really quickly, and he has this one splash damage attack that can't be avoided, so I have to make sure he never attempts it. The key was just staying as far away as possible which can be a little tricky when your legs also work as pool noodles, but thankfully after a little bit of finagling, I finally got a swing going, and from there on out, it got better. You know, I tried cashing in a check here, but it just bounced back. Completely unrelated side note, if a shady man offers you a $50 check for services, don't do it, it's fake. Now if only I had a time machine, which I wouldn't need, because this was all completely hypothetical, I didn't do that. Or him. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Oh, come on, Peter, they're called cops. So, anyways, major car crash, almost dying, yada yada yada. But after all that, something really interesting happened. We got the ability to fast travel. Peter then got evicted and all his stuff got thrown out, but still, fast traveling, eh? Yeah, Peter wasn't as thrilled as I was about the fast traveling, so we had to track down his stuff. Can't have people stealing garbage. In that case, I should start watermarking my videos. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, we then had to do some dumpster diving, and after taking out the trash, then taking out the trash again, we got what we were looking for. A thingy-mabob. On the street, huh? I know the look. What? 
What's that supposed to mean? Is it because I haven't showered in a month or because shirtless I look like a skeleton had a child with another skull? Okay, yeah, I see where you're coming from. We then got to this tower. Peter went through a guy. Didn't know he swings that way. I told you it was an addiction. But anyways, this tower was mostly easy, but what wasn't easy was what came next. Yep, the helicopter chase, but more specifically, this. You can kinda web zip here, but it's super finicky. Luckily though, almost all of the rockets get blocked by the furniture, so you don't have to worry about it. Like what? Okay, bad example. Another thing about the furniture is that I get stuck on it all the time. So I had to sit there, punching the air over and over, while the rocket launcher guy probably wondered where the other half of my brain went. If he finds it, I hope he can tell me. Anyways, after some lucky web zips and air punches, I finally got through. I then did some side work at my job as a chiropractor, and we were at the gathering. I think this gang war may finally be over. Peter, you so just jinxed us. Now this ceremony is gonna lead to another ceremony, or maybe a couple hundred extra ceremonies. Yeah, I had the foresight of a god thanks to the pictures I had taken last challenge, and it was different from how I remember. Yeah, uh, there may have been one, two, or maybe a hundred and two things wrong with me. No one was smiling, not even happy. Well, except for Peter for some reason. He had a half smile and kept talking about a light and seeing his uncle. I don't know, I didn't listen, it sounded stupid. Playing through this game was actually really cool because I couldn't tell which sounds were coming from the game and which were coming from the crappy neighborhood I live in. Or my PS4. I swear I've heard a gunshot come from that piece of junk. Guys, you have to be careful. I've heard that burning an American flag can actually get you into some tro. Okay, wait, that ship is long sailed. Dad! Dad? More like dead. <laughs> so yeah, Miles went all emo, now all he has to do is dress in all black. Or just take off his clothes. I'm not really sure how it works. Okay, sure. Where's your mother? Okay, that was just mean. I'm sorry. Speaking of mean, the game just failed me. I don't know why, but maybe it saw my channel and was just talking life choices. Anyways, I then did some research in probably the weirdest way ever, and we got back to some sneaking. Oh, what's this blue line? Boom! Sticky surprise. Okay, wow, that really needs a new name. We then did some more lab work, and cool thing I found was that Doc Ock has started his own gym in the lab. Because if you remember the story, then you know that Doc Ock has little bitch syndrome. <laughs> Not again. Men are all carrying fire. MJ, don't be stupid. None of their arms are on fire. Any, Anyways, yeah, it was MJ time again, and her stupidity kind of rubbed off on me. I mean, I'd be stupid regardless, but you know what I mean. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? No. So we had to save a CEO or something, and I noticed that every fifth car had a turret on it. Come on, I've been to New York, it's at least half that. Anyways, we then got into the building, and after some quick checkpoint manipulation, we got into the penthouse. See, when Peter isn't facing exactly where I want him to, I can reload a checkpoint and bam, problem solved. That being said, I did have to walk in order to start this wall climb, so add one to the counter. He sounds nervous. I should take him out. Ah, Peter, that's so nice. I'm thinking sushi. Well, after he recovers from the brain damage I gave him. Lights out. Peter, that was more than lights out. You disintegrated the man. <laughs> I feel dirty. Anywho, we then got introduced to the sword enemy because of course the Weep Clan has a character with a sword and it honestly wasn't too bad. With all the new upgrades, I can barely tell that my legs bend like gummy worms. I wrapped this all up then a couple of enemies, and I was told to check out this box. Yep, another Batman is probably being made in a nearby alley, but I can tell that this box is serious business. I then used my spider powers to swing through the city and stop crime, and I was invited to a school party. Come on, game, my suspension of disbelief can only be pushed so far. I then met up with this guy, and <laughs> what a cartoonish costume. What idiot would ever think that was even close to realistic? Yeah, I was back to school, which ended as I expected, with a suicide. It wasn't mine though, so yeah, that was surprising. I then took a trip to Times Square, and honestly, it's disgusting. Does everything always have to be covered in an ad break? Okay, I really hope that worked, because otherwise I just sounded really stupid. Okay, stupider than I usually do. We then got to this tower, and oh god, this could have been a boss fight in itself. Thankfully though, I had one trick up my sleeve. When Peter hits a wall, he will temporarily move. Look, I know it looks like he's running, but that's just your imagination. But 
No, in all seriousness, this is technically all good. I'm not touching the left joystick. I don't like technicalities though because they're stupid and they also remind me of myself. Anyways, Peter won't zip directly onto these modules, so I have to kind of fall onto it, which is a lot trickier than you'd think. But thankfully, after a lot of awkward finagling, I was done. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. I don't know about software issues, but you might have a bug in your system. I then did some casual quick eye scraping and MJ got mad at us for not listening. Or something. Not sure, I wasn't listening. Doc Ock then showed me his latest invention that I'm sure will sell very well in Japan. Now that's a wise man right there. I'm pretty sure I saw that same guy muttering about demons five seconds ago. Well, I guess we all have our demon-spurred mental breakdowns now and again. That isn't just me, right? You know, I specifically thought about buying a PS5 for this game, but then I came to the realization that it doesn't really matter because even at loading screens, I get to do the same thing I do while playing stare at Peter's ass. Anyways, we then got to this chase, which was pretty easy. And after that, we got teleported to a nightmare world. And I say nightmare with intent, because it almost broke the run. And me. See, we can't manual web zip here. My only form of movement is dodging and automatic web zips. The only problem is, is that I can't really move left and right. Now, this would all be fine. There are lots of poles almost everywhere, except for this little stupid section right here. All the poles are just slightly too too far away and I have to go there to progress. I tried checkpointing, finagling, and even randomly pressing buttons, that's when you know I lost it, but none of it worked. But then I got super lucky. I was able to trigger the animation, then quickly web zip back. So yeah, this world comes with a boss fight and now behold Mr. Lee. Oh my eyes, you'd think I'd learn my lesson. Oh yeah, and the boss fight itself, not too bad. Sure, I've given in to the shadow demons once before, but I don't really know what my mental health has to do with this boss fight. I will break you and leave you brain dead. Is that to imply I'm not already brain dead? Cause thank you, that's the nicest thing I've heard today. Anyways, back to MJ and it wasn't too bad. I even used my brain to solve a puzzle. It was just wires, sure, but I'm still proud. Hey, man, where'd you go? Oh. Probably just the wind. <laughs> Man, those updrafts are killer, huh? But stupid jokes aside, we got to the boss fight that I'd been dreading for a while. And yeah, I hit a snag. Well, okay, movement isn't really a problem as I can web zip and dodging isn't a problem either, but this attack right here stopped everything in its tracks. Tracks, gay, oh, whatever. So yeah, this attack can only be avoided by jumping, which I can't do. I could avoid jumping, but it just led Peter to turning into rubber. I would die no matter what. So I did what I do best. I gave up. No, 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 I devised a plan. If I can't avoid the attack, then I'll just have to suck it up and try to survive through the waves. This plan led me to fully restarting the mission, getting two upgrades related to saving up energy, and getting back to hating MJ. I tried speedrunning through the puzzle, God punished me for my hubris, and after some quick fighting, we were back where we started. Now the problem is this wave right here. He does jump attacks over and over, so I made sure to save up my focus as well as my health bar and hopped in. I had made sure to save up all my health for that section. Oh, come on. Well, I tried and did an okay job of saving up my focus, and surprisingly, it was enough. Peter then decided that a pair of broken arms would go great with his legs, and we got back to helping the city. My ESU ID badge from- Oh, is that what that is? I thought it was four pixels in a trench coat pretending to be a square, but yeah, that makes more sense. So yeah, by helping the city, I meant I ignored all the cries for help and collected backpacks. Oh, come on, my eyes are not that big. Well, at least they got the cake right. Okay, I know I brought up Japan before, but now you're just catering to them. So yeah, I had to take a look at Doc's new equipment, and it has some problems. Long-term memory loss, limbic degradation, frontal lobe ed- Okay, now you're just making up words, but you get the idea. This is serious, and Doc's double chin is there. Look, I know you're dying, and I brought it up before, but <laughs> why? You're all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! Hey, Doc, my bad. It <laughs> left my wallet. <laughs> bad time. Uh. 
Can't think of a pun. Okay, see ya. We then had to take care of a breakout at the prison, then a breakout at the max security prison, and you might be wondering the difference between the two, and it's mostly just skin color. That came out really wrong. What I mean is that a lot of the max security prisoners have red and blue skin, and I don't think that's healthy, but neither is what I'm about to do to them, so whatever. You know, sometimes I like to be serious, but other times I like to crack jokes. <laughs> Get it? I said crack while disabling the man. Hey, Electro, I know that we're supposed to be killing each other and all, but are you okay? Cool, I'll see you on the roof. Peter then showed me a magic trick, and if his legs weren't broken before, they sure are now. Hey, Doc, quick question. I, um, are you damaged in the brain? Yeah, you're wearing a mask, but you should have put that on before you opened the deadly vial five feet in front of your face. Whatever, whatever. So anyways, Doc over here infected this crowd with AIDS in the most unusual way I've ever seen, and we were back onto the streets. Feels like the end of the world. Yuri, I don't know. Okay, I'm the next Jesus, and in that case, it is the end of the world. We're all screwed! So now, with our biggest enemies loose in the city, we faced one of our biggest threats yet. The Empire State Building. What? I told you tall buildings are tricky, but surprisingly, it wasn't too bad. I don't know why I was so worried. Anyways, what was I doing? Right, a man that literally radiates electricity. I just realized I said I was doing a ma- whatever. That ship is long sailed. Anywho, Electro was pretty easy. I avoided most of the goons and took out the generators directly, so it went by pretty quick. But now, onto one of the hardest struggles of the entire game. I knew I wasn't prepared- okay, I can't pull the same joke twice. I may or may have not got stuck in a lake. Yeah, I literally can't do anything. Well, checkpoints exist for a reason. I don't think they exist in case you get stuck in a lake, but you get what I mean. I then contemplated my life for about 20 minutes after learning the existence of roof cars, and it was fight time again. Hey, man, ever heard of friendly fire? Oh my god, where did that come from? I didn't even plan that. Okay, I might seriously have a problem. Guys, we're on the same team! Peter, you are aware you said that while working as a plastic surgeon and giving this man a new face. Right, hope you're a Danny DeVito fan, buddy. The roof cars got destroyed, which brought out a a lot of unexpected emotion in me, and we had a burning building to attend to. Peter, is this a dig at your aunt? You can stop a moving car, but apparently she weighs too much. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears. Peter, remember the last time you said that to a civilian who also happened to be black? Well, at least Miles can cancel his dentist appointments now. First person to get that reference in the comments gets, uh, I was gonna say my will to live, but I lost that a while ago. Because you keep leaving me tasks? That's kinda on the nose! Says Spider Man, dickwad. But massive hypocrites aside, we found out that the Sinister Seven all met up on a forum for people with hate boners for Mr. Osborne. And for those of you born with an iPad in your hand, Mr. Osborne is getting cancelled. As that's the latest trend, apparently. <laughs> Are you okay? What's happening? Well, it's not the first time I've been used as a human pinata, so I'm holding in. 16th birthday party, don't ask. So we then got to our first double boss fight, and it was surprisingly easy since I get to swing everywhere, and I gotta say, taking on two guys at once was pretty hard, but what helped is that they mostly came to me. There isn't that much to say here. I took out Scarface first, then beat Vulture before Cancer could. Wow, I sound like a dick. Speaking of dicks, Scorpion injected me with something. I thought it was poison at first, but the copious amount of white stuff is starting to confuse me. Well, not anymore you aren't. Anyways, this section was pretty tricky since I can't wall run and that's how you often get a majority of your height. I was swinging basically just above the poison. This may have led to one death or two or 26. Yes, I counted and yes, I also don't have a social life. Thankfully though, I figured out that web zipping is pretty essential here and after that, it was just a swing through the poison filled park. Oh, so it was a needle. Still doesn't explain the white stuff. I then proceeded to do some lab work. I mean, I still got a couple hours on the claw. Right, why in the hell would anybody do this? Anyways, it was then Miles time and it was surprisingly easy to sneak by in a bright blue jacket. But that was mostly because Rhino had a weird fascination with this wall. We played a quick game of Ring Around the Rhino, not because I felt like getting squashed, but rather I had a hard time using my, uh, what's the word? Ah, brain. After a quick little hop in the city, we got to boss fight time again, and oh boy, this one takes the cake. Which, 
kinda makes sense considering Rhino's weight. Anyways, the main bane of this run is the train. No, it isn't. I just wanted to keep the rhyme up. I'm sorry. No, the biggest problem of this fight is the movement and positioning. More specifically, it is super hard to move around these boxes while getting attacked. Now, we need to talk about the 10-foot infant and lizard in the shipping yard. Rhino's first stage isn't too bad. I can slightly maneuver around him, but it's a completely different story when Scorpion is introduced. All their attacks do so much damage, but that's not the main problem. When just playing this fight normally, it can get a little tricky, so add web zipping only, and congratulations, you have a nightmare. See, you don't have the immediate escape of running away, and that's kind of necessary when fighting Rhino, but thankfully, it took an ungodly amount of deaths, but I got Rhino down and then I faced yet another problem. See, you usually use gadgets to take down Scorpion, but I didn't have any right now. So after taking down Rhino, I started to freak, and then this happened. Yeah, I reset the fight, got stuck yet again, and finally got back to Scorpion. You have to understand, I was going from focus bar to focus bar here, just barely scraping by. So I swang around trying to think of a new plan while avoiding whatever that was. But then I got it. Luckily, I had barely just enough tokens to upgrade my electric gadget, and that gave me one more, meaning it was finally over. I then gave the furries some alone time and I got to play as MJ. I met a fellow ginger, it didn't turn out too well. Yeah, MJ was just another sneak spy section. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? Whoa, and that spider's name is Miles, and that other one's name is This Is Extremely Heavy Handed. How the hell did my dumbass not catch this? Weird name. Even for a spider, weird name. Ah, yes, I too like to keep my highly experimental hand grenades right next to my comatose son, because, uh... Norman, what the fuck? What have you done? Yeah, you made an Asian boy blah with white hair? This is worse than the grenades, Norman! You are not alone anymore, Pete. Right, I have you, a teleporting suicidal banshee. Oh, can I be alone? I then swang all the way to my destination, even though I could have fast travel because, well, like my uncle when the lights go out, I think it's starting to rub me. That's how that saying works, right? Martin Lee then sucked a man for his power. Okay, I really hope that worked. People with that block on are missing out. We then had to dive back into the nightmare world and thankfully, it was pretty easy. But you know what was also easy? The fight that came next. Honestly, the one-on-ones were basically the same as normal, but that all changes when he summons his demon buddies. Mostly because it's really hard for me to focus on one person in particular. I'm kinda like my dad after his fifth beer, because I just punch whatever's in front of me. This led to a couple of minutes bouncing between demon buddies before finally getting lucky and finishing it off with Mr. Negative. One odd thing I'd like to note is that I may have gone up this demon's ass, I don't know. All I know is that I went in and it exploded. I may or may not be scarred for life, and I may or may not cry myself to sleep tonight. Well. I was gonna do that anyways, so not that big of a deal. Peter helped build those arms, remember? By built, do you mean that I showed up to work one day and they were already finished? Because if so, you are completely accurate. So yeah, we got to Doc Ock and... <laughs> get ready. So the only way to take down Doc is through webbing, and usually it goes like this. Web, run away, wait for recharge, and then fight again. Yeah, I can't really do the whole run thing. This fight was a pure test of my reflexes, as I was constantly in attacking range. My special ability, which filled up my gadgets, helped a little bit, but still, it was tough. What didn't help was that the cameraman behind Peter really liked this fire for some reason. Now, imagine it. You're fighting a monster while basically blindfolded, but at the same time, you're getting destroyed by tentacles. And this is when I hit my lowest point, because I'd already made a Doc Ock hentai joke, but I courageously pushed through. The Doc then decided to play a game of The Floor is Lava, but instead of lava, it's electricity, and the lava is actually real. Okay, you get what I'm saying. I was kind of stumped, but then it came to me. The key was actually the friends we'd made along the way. No, not the ginger or the knockoff Spider-Man, but rather Poles. The Poles had been there ever since the start of the game, and they were also there when I needed to pay rent. But what I do in my spare time aside, the Poles brought victory. I finally put Doc Ock in his place, that being a wheelchair, and he put on a performance that was more pitiable than his hairline. Then, Aunt May died. I didn't bother telling you about me crying during those last scenes because I thought that was a given, and also my tear ducts were still swollen from the whole roof car incident. And yeah, my horrible attempts at jokes aside, 
That's it! I hope you enjoyed! If you did, then please consider like, subscribing, hitting the bell, and all that jazz. Anyways, I'll see you next week!